Every year, the Sanchwold family puts on an amazing light show for the holiday season. Every night, their home shoots up in bright lights that dance along to Christmas tunes. Chad Sanchez, the main technician behind the show, has been doing this now for a decade. What really got me into doing lights is ever since I was a kid, I would always decorate my room with lights, as many lights as I could put in there. When we moved into this house, my wife and I put some a couple strands up here and there, like normal Christmas lights, and then I discovered this whole underground lighting community, and it just started one year and kept going, and this is the 10th year we've been doing it. Uh, mostly where all the time comes in is synchronizing the, the music to the songs and to the lights. The way I coordinate everything is pretty much through my laptop. There's, so this year I'm using two different programs together and uh, one is called Lightorama, one is called X Lights. And so what happens is and it's set up on my computer screen, it looks like an Excel sheet. And so every prop that we have from the trees to the icicles are all laid out on the list. And I can essentially go through each one and tell it what to do. And then so what happens is I play the music in the background so I can tell the lights. I want them to flash, twinkle, fade, whatever it is. What's happening now, we're in a transition right now, and, but we have uh, standard LED lights, which most, most folks use for the Christmas lights, and that's what most of the stuff is here. And I'm transitioning to pixels. Pixels are what the new pixel tree is and the arches we have in the yard. Each light, each pixel, can be self-addressed and controlled by itself, meaning I can tell one pixel what to do differently than the one next to it in any color it wants. You can just do a lot more stuff with it. Not only does Chad have an impressive light configuration, but he also sets up a radio station for viewers to listen along in their cars. So the way the radio station works and how you hear that in your car is it's a tool called an FM transmitter. What I did is I went in 10 years ago and I sat in my truck and I found open FM stations. Uh, 97.9 is the station we use. It transmits to your cars to the FM frequency. Last year we, we brought out, so if you don't want to sit in your car, we have an actual push button sign out front. And this year I built it to put two uh, marine uh, boat speakers on it. And so you can push it so kids can get out of their car or walk, come through a nice walk and you hit the button and then the music comes right out of the speakers. You know, doing the show was started something obviously like for my family and other families or people would come up and thank us or thank me for doing it. I'd run into people at the park. I didn't, you know, hey, you're the Christmas light guy, you know, and thank you so much. And not only doing it for my family, but doing it for the community means so much. And when people come up and thank, thank me, folks have had a really bad day and they came over here and it just changed their day. I mean, it means means the world to me. You can find our show, we're on Carlisle Way, I'm in Goleta, 5.30 to 9.30, Sunday through Thursday, Friday and Saturday, it's 5.30 to 10. The Sanchwold Holiday Light Show is a tradition not only for their family, but for the entire community. With something new to see every single year, the show continues to be a staple part in many families' holiday traditions. With DP News, I'm Jules Steelsmith, reporting.